A contrite heart loves him who has forgiven him. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Father Angel with the Orthodox Church. Welcome to the Gospel for October 12, 2020, according to St. Luke. One of the Pharisees asked Jesus to eat with him, and he went into the Pharisee's house and took his place at the table. And a woman in the city, who was a sinner, having learned that he was eating in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster jar of ointment. She stood behind him at his feet, weeping, and began to bathe his feet with her tears, and to dry them with her hair. Then she continued kissing his feet, and anointing them with ointment. Now, when the Pharisee who had invited him saw it, he said to himself, If this man were a prophet, he would have known who and what kind of woman is this who is touching him, that she is a sinner. Jesus spoke up and said to him, Simon, I have something to say to you. Teacher, he replied, Speak. A certain creditor had two debtors, one owed 500 denarii and the other 50. When they could not pay, he canceled the debts for both of them. Now which of them will love him more? Simon answered, I suppose the one for whom he canceled the, gra the greater debt. And Jesus said to him, You have judged rightly. Then turning toward the woman, he said to Simon, Do you see this woman? I entered your house. You gave me no water for my feet. But she has bathed my feet with her tears, and dried them with her hair. You gave me no kiss, but from the time I came in she has not stopped kissing my feet. You did not anoint my head with oil, but she has anointed my feet with ointment. Therefore I tell you, her sins, which were many, have been forgiven. Hence she has shown great love. But the one to whom little is forgiven loves little. Then he said to her, Your sins are forgiven. But those who were at the table with him began to say among themselves, Who is this who even forgives sins? And he said to the woman, Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. Glory be to thee, O God. Glory be to thee. A contrite heart is not rejected by God. A contrite heart will love. Let us see the stark comparison between the Pharisee that believes that he is in grace, that he is without sin, that he is safe already, and judges the others and says, no, oh, that's a sinner, that's a sinner, that's a sinner. I am not. I am a good person. That's exactly the heresy that the Roman corporation and their offspring, the reformed ones, continually say. That because they wet a little bit their head when they were children by baptism, they are sons of God and they are guaranteed to enter heaven. Great. Lies. Nothing less than that. We see that Pharisee hypocritically inviting the master to his home. Now, and this I've said this many times, a stranger cannot enter into the house of somebody unless they break in. But the situation here, the contest, is the banquet. It's a meal. There are many people, servants and stuff, people, vigilant. So if that sinner, that woman, was not invited, she could have never entered. But Simon had hypocritically paid her so that she might enter into his house and then touch the Lord. And he never did honor the Master, just as the Lord stated. And we can imagine the woman, a true sinner, that comes being paid with a perfume just to touch him. That's all she, she was supposed to do. At what point did the Holy Spirit open her heart so that she might be able to repent? She felt the compassion of the Lord. She felt, and that is when she starts crying. 
And while she is crying and pouring her tears on his feet, she realizes what she's doing and she takes probably one of the most important parts of, of her own self, the hair, that usually goes for the vain glory of the women. She takes her hair and wipes dry the feet of the master and then kisses the feet and anoints them. She has been forgiven and she knows it and then she is confirmed. My dear brothers, unless we are able to repent deeply, we cannot be forgiven. If we are not able to recognize that we are great sinners, we cannot be forgiven. That is the horrible heresy of the Roman corporation. We are in grace, liars. But they fool millions and millions of people into believing those lies. May the Lord God in His mercy grant us all to repent deeply. For blessed is our God, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.